the ultimate aim of your degree is to earn money, right? But why do you want to target to earn lakhs when you can earn crores? Well, people say it can be risky. But I say it's not risky if you calculate your risk properly. You know, the first time you walked, it was very risky because you didn't know how to walk. When you were a child, you ask your father or mother. She'll tell you that first time you, when you walked, it was so difficult and risky that you would have fallen. But the more you walk, the better you got at it. Now, I have been walking the path of entrepreneurship and ra running a biotech company. And in fact, I've started and failed more than 30 times before in starting a biotech company. So I'm telling you this fact that starting a simple biotech company while you are still in college is easy if you calculate your risk in the best way. And that is why today I'm going to give you 10 steps which will make it easy for you to think and imagine about starting a biotech company. Now, my aim and goal to help you is I want to see 3000 biotech startups in the, in the next 10 years. And I want any one among you to start that and earn crores and crores of rupees and generate a lot of employment for all our Biotechnica subscribers. That's my dream. So that's why I want to help you start a biotech company. Now, the first step to do that would be to have a mentor, a mentor who is an implementer, who has started a biotech company and who is a founder or CEO. And the best place to find that is, of course, um, I can be one among them or you can reach out to me and I can introduce you to other mentors who can guide you in this direction. So suppose you want to make or start a company uh, which is artificial intelligence and biology or stem cells or CRISPR, any or diagnostics. If you want, if you want to start a company, you need a mentor, right? So that's the first thing you need uh, to seek the help of a mentor and that mentor must be himself an implementer. He must have started a successful biotech company and that ecosystem will further propel you. Now coming to the second point, which is, you have to conduct your own research into the biotech industry with the help of your mentor to find out what kind of product you can create which can be sold to the market. Now, very interesting thing here is people think that a hardcore biopharmaceutical company is a biotech company. That's not truth. A dosa batter making company is also a biotech company. A food tech company which uh, makes parathas which can be uh, used made today and used after three months even that is a biotech company if you are uh, you know creating and selling yogurt even that is a biotech company if you are creating an embalmation uh, ointment for fishes which improves the shelf life of fishes even that's a biotech company so simple biotech company is something which you create and then you sell it to the regular public or regular uh, you know general masses and that is what is the target. So you have to conduct your own research on what type of product you want to create, what kind of idea you want to pursue. And definitely I can help you in that. If you want any kind of help or guidance, you can email me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. So that's the first one. Now, so the second step will be to develop a business plan so that you know, okay, what procedure you have to follow, what product you have to make, how will you scale and how to whom you will sell. Okay, so this is the entire business plan and how, what is the market size, all that research you have to do. You have to reach out to uh, websites like Statista and find out what is the market size of this particular product, how many people will be willing to buy, you have to do a market survey. And then on the basis of all these data points, you can develop your business plan. Now, the third point will be to seek legal and regulatory guidance. For example, you want to start a food tech company. So obviously you need, you may need a license from FSSI. Suppose you want to start a biopharmaceutical company. So you need a, a approval from the uh, Drug Control General of India, DCGI. So you have to find out what will be the regulatory challenges and how to overcome that. So you can always reach out to somebody on LinkedIn who is an expert in regulatory affairs and that person can definitely guide you. Now, one question which has come up uh, recently is a student who is a commerce student wants to start a biotech company and he's very much inspired by my story. So he wrote to me. So there can be situations where you want to start a company and you, are, you don't have the right kind of education for it. You can still do it if you collaborate with someone who has that expertise. So basically, suppose you are a commerce guy, you can always collaborate with a science guy. If you are a science guy, you can always collaborate with an engineering guy. So that is how companies are started. 
Now you can always uh, give some shares to that person, like 100% shares. So you can give say 30% shares to that person and that person becomes a co-founder and then you can start a company with him. And the question is, how would you find him? You have to always reach out, find out the person on social media, LinkedIn, or you can always get, into, get in touch with me. I can introduce you to someone in my network who might be willing to start a company with you. So that's a seek, seeking the le uh, legal and regulatory guidance. The next will be building a team of experts, which used to be very tough a while ago, but thanks to Biotechnica, now it is not tough. Now, why do I say that? You start a company, register a company, reach out to me. What kind of team you need? Let me know. I will arrange that for you because Biotechnica has so many subscribers who are willing to work and who, who are looking for a job. Definitely, I can give you somebody who can contribute to the growth of your company. So building a team of experts is very easy now, given that you have Biotechnica. And of course, you can always reach out to me wherein I can guide you on how to build a strong team, which will last the longest and help you grow the company. So that's the fourth point. Now coming to the fifth point, which will be obviously securing funding because you won't have money from your own pocket on the day one to you know start the company. So you need somebody who some rich person who will fund or invest in your company. So for that, you need to create a pitch deck and you can google out and find out various templates of pitch deck i personally like the uh, pitch deck of airbnb which you can use or maybe something similar so you can create a pitch deck which you can uh, email or reach out to investors who would look into that and you they will invest you know uh, there are many biotech entrepreneurs who are well established and if you reach out to them they will invest in your company so even that is something which you should know so securing funding as a graduate is no longer difficult given that nowadays uh, small businesses are getting so much of funding in shark tank obviously yes you can also get funding all you have to do is you have to have the right idea the right team the right product and the right market size if these four things are taken care of you know, you can easily get funding. So that's your uh, fifth point. Now coming to the sixth point that will be developing and launching the product. So it's not so easy, right? So you have to develop the product. You have to sit in the lab to do it. Maybe you're developing uh, green meat or like plant-based meat or something, whatever you're doing. So you have to uh, develop that product and then you have to make sure that the product is, is at the right price and then you have to launch it in the market probably if it, it if it can be sold on amazon you can do that or maybe you can um, you know reach out to regular uh, people who would do it may, may, many uh, retailers and distributors you would have to tie up with so all that your mentor will guide you so that's the sixth point now once the sales has started that is where congratulations you have the company running and now the money is coming in all you have to do is now run the operations and that is where the seventh point comes monitor evaluate performance and cut down cost you have to constantly monitor if the company is running properly you have to evaluate how can you improve the performance and then the third you have to reduce the cost so that you can reduce the price and you can sell it at a cheaper price so, so that even the uh, you know the poorest person can afford it and then you can grow the company faster right and the more fast your revenue grows the more investors will put in money so that's a you know complete game changer you can see so many poor people and they became so rich because they had the courage to start a company so if you are somebody who is poor or middle class and who wants to become rich i think this video and this blueprint is definitely going to guide you now the seventh, uh, sorry, eighth point for you is expanding the company. So like you started the company, now you, you have it, it you, know, you have it in only Bangalore, or only Hyderabad, or only Ahmedabad, or only Kolhapur. Now you want to expand it to various other geographies. So that is where you will need more help, more guidance, more support, and more investor money. So of course, if your track record is good, you can always get that. And then the more you expand, the better you get at it. Now one very important thing you have to know is sky's the limit you can grow globally sitting in a smallest city of india it is possible but all you have to do is take charge you have to you know uh, look at how big the market can be and scale faster we are seeing on shark tank now that a pickle maker who is uh, just a, a homemaker a housewife in bihar is you know selling internationally now on amazon.com so even you can do that so you have to expand the company and then coming to the ninth point, which will be, oh, sorry, the 10th point, which will be maintaining ethical and responsible practices. Now, 
when you are running a company uh, there can be cases where the quality is not maintained or the uh, processes are not maintained and that leads to problems so that is where you have to make sure that the right kind of core values are there in your team members they are following the right sop they are the right kind of uh, quality standards are maintained so that there is no regulatory issues in the future and if you are fall, able to follow all these 10 points congratulations you have got a billion dollar company running for you and i just transferred a billion dollar step process to achieve that now the question to be asked is are you willing to do it the answer should be yes and no it should be a no for those who don't want to take initiative who who just want to live their life and uh, you know on a fixed uh, uh, life but if somebody who wants adventure who, who wants uh, uh, to grow professionally and personally who wants to be a leader of the industry who wants to create a lot of employment for the next generation the new most welcome you can use all this and grow your company i think the right time has come when india produces more biotech entrepreneurs because india is now targeting a 1.5 trillion dollar economy uh, sorry uh, 5 trillion dollar economy and that means you can be a game changer in the biotech industry probably you can build a billion dollar industry years ago dr kiran majumdar shaw did years ago dr reddy's did years ago i did and now it's your time to start a company and create huge scope for the fellow biotechnica subscribers so if you have any questions or comments put them down in the comment section or you can reach out to me at shekhar@biotechnica.org that's all for this video thank you so much i'll see you in the next one till then stay subscribed and keep shining bye bye